Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these fingerless mittens which can be made in any size. So for my mittens I used a 5mm crochet hook and in this video I'm using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and you want to take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger you then want to take your crochet hook go in through this space and pull tight and there you have a slip knot so once you have your slip knot we are now going to make our foundation chain and you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like but it must be long enough to fit around the wrist of the baby or child who your fingerless mittens are going to be for so I am making my mittens in size 0 to 3 months so I am going to chain 18 as chain 18 fits nicely around the wrist of a baby who is aged 0 to 3 months and your foundation chain must also be an even number so it must be able to fit around the wrist of the baby or child who your mittens are going to be for and also be an even number so I'm going to chain 18 but you can chain whatever you like So once you have your foundation chain, we are now going to turn our chain, which we have here, into a foundation ring. So we are going to do that by working a slip stitch into the first chain that we worked. So you want to go along your chain and be very careful not to twist your chain and go along to the very first chain that you worked. So here is the slip knot and here is the first chain and into this chain we are going to work a slip stitch to turn it into a foundation ring. So to do a slip stitch you want to insert your hook into this chain making sure not to twist your foundation chain and then simply pull the yarn through and then through again like that. And we are now ready to move on to round one of our fingerless mittens. So to begin round one, you want to chain two and turn. So we are going to chain one and then chain two and then turn. And round one is going to be a plain round of half double crochets. So we are going to work one half double crochet into every single chain around. And this chain two that we just worked counts as our first stitch. So we're going to begin working into this stitch here as the chain two is the first half double crochet for this stitch. So we're going to go into this stitch and work a half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, you want to yarn over and go into the stitch or into the chain and then yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is one half double crochet and you want to do that into every single chain along for round one. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and work my next half double crochet and then into the next one and then the one after that and just keep doing this all the way around. Okay, so I have just worked one half double crochet into each stitch around for round one, and this is what I have. And now to finish off the round, we are going to work a slip stitch into the chain two that we did at the very beginning. So at the beginning of this round, we chain two, and that counted as one half double crochet, and we are going to finish off round one by doing a slip stitch into this chain. And before you do that, you may want to go back and check that you have the right number of half double crochets around and you should have the same number that you chained. So I chained 18, so therefore I should have 18 half double crochets around. And I do, so I'm going to move on to my slip stitch. So to do a slip stitch, you want to insert your hook into the chain. So into the second chain of the chain two, and then simply pull the yarn through and then through again like that and we can now fasten off 
So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a nice long tail to weave into the inside of your mittens later and we are ready to move on to round two. So we are now on to round two of our mittens and we are going to start off round two by attaching a new colour and I want my mittens to be stripy so I want all different colours throughout my work. So I'm going to change colours at the beginning of each new round and the method that I'm going to use now is going to be the method that I will use throughout my work and this is a very secure method. So what you want to do is you want to start off by taking your new yarn or your new colour and doing a slip knot so in the same way as we did at the very beginning and you then want to take a random stitch so select any random stitch along so I'm going to choose this one and you want to insert your hook into the stitch. You then want to take your new yarn and this is both pieces. So the yarn coming from the ball and then also the tail or the straggler end and sort of place these over the back of your work so that you can pull them through. So using your crochet hook, pick up both pieces of yarn and pull them through the stitch. So you should now have three loops on your hook and you want to take this last loop here and take this loop and pull this over the end of your crochet hook. So this loop and this loop only over the end and then pull tight. And this is a very secure method. And that is how we are going to attach a new colour. And I am going to do that at the beginning of each round from now on. So we are now going to chain one. And this attaching a new colour and chaining one counts as chain two and the chain two counts as one half double crochet. So here we have our first half double crochet for round two and for round two we are going to do half double crochet then chain one and skip the next stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch all the way around for round two. So here we have our first half double crochet so I'm now going to chain one and skip the next stitch and into the next stitch I'm going to work my second half double crochet. So yarn over, make sure you skip the next stitch and go into the next one and work a half double crochet just like we did last round. And then chain one again and skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one again, skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the next one and just do this all the way around for round two. Okay, so I have just worked that all the way around for round two and I have worked my final half double crochet and chain one and I'm now going to finish off round two by working a slip stitch into the first stitch that we worked. So at the beginning we attached a new colour and chained one. This counted as chain two which counts as our first half double crochet. So I'm going to work a slip stitch into the top of that stitch. So here is attach a new colour and here is chain one. So I'm going to insert my hook into that chain and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and then through again. So I can now fasten off, so pull my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn leaving a tail to weave into the inside of my mittens later and I am ready to begin round okay, three. Okay, so we are now on to round three and we are going to begin round three by attaching a new colour. So you want to take your new yarn and we are going to do this in the same way as before. So you want to start off by doing a slip knot onto your finger and then onto your crochet hook like that and then we are going to attach a new colour into one of the chain spaces so for this round we are going to be working into the chain one spaces so we are going to work into this space, this space, this space, this space for round three so we are going to select a random chain space to attach a new colour into so I'm going to go with this one and you want to insert your hook into the space and then take your new yarn and pull this new yarn over the back 
and then using your crochet hook, pick both pieces up and pull it through. And that is the yarn coming from the ball and also the straggler end. You then want to take this last loop and pull this loop and this loop only over the end of your hook and pull tight. And there you have attached a new colour. So we color. are now going to chain one. And this counts as chain two, which counts as one half double crochet. This is the exact same as last round. So here we have our first half double crochet for round three. And round three is the exact same thing as round two. We are going to do half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, chain one, all the way around. But we are going to do our half double crochets into the chain spaces and then chain one and skip the half double crochets from last round. So here we have our first half double crochet. So I'm now going to chain one and skip the next half double crochet and skip to the next chain space. And into this space, I'm going to work my half double crochet like that. And then I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch or the next half double crochet and work a half double crochet into the next chain space. Then chain one again. And you want to do this all the way around for round three. Okay, so I have just finished off round three and I'm just going to finally complete this round with a slip stitch. So this is the same thing as we did for round two. I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked, which was actually an attach a new color and chain one. So you want to go into the top of this stitch and then pull the yarn through and through again. And there you have a slip stitch and you can now fasten off before we begin round three. And this is what you should have and you can see the colors, they slot in together by using this method. And that's what we want for our little fingerless mittens. So we mittens. are now on to round four of our fingerless mittens and rounds four, five, six and the rest of our mittens are just going to be repeats of round three. So for the rest of our work, we simply want to repeat round three again and again and again until you feel that your mittens are long enough. And of course, if you were making a smaller size, then you will not need to repeat round three as many times. And if you're doing a larger size, then you will need to repeat round three more times. But just keep repeating the round that we have just worked again and again until your mittens are long enough. But at some enough. point throughout our work, we are going to need to add in a thumb hole. And thumb holes are very easy to do and they are worked over two or three rounds. But depending on what size you are doing, the thumb holes are going to be worked at different stages for all of the different sizes. And the thumb hole starts to be worked at the base of the thumb. So you want to work, keep repeating round three again and again until you are at the base of the thumb. And then we're going to repeat round three, but then work a thumb hole at the end of each round. And you do that over two or three rounds to create a hole that the thumb can come out of. And then we are going to just continue on with round three as normal until your cuffs or your mittens are so long enough. So I just enough. repeated row three one more time. So I attached a new color into a chain space in the same method as we have used previously. I then chained one and that counted as my first half double crochet and then chained one again for my chain space and then worked one half double crochet into the next space, chain one, half double crochet into the next space, chain one all the way around and I am now at the point where my mitten or my little cuff that I have here would reach the base of the thumb on a zero to three months old. And as I am working my mittens for a zero to three month old, it is now time for me to work my thumb hole. So I have worked my round three as usual, just a repeat of that round, and I have come to the end. And usually I would chain one as I've worked my last half double crochet and then work a slip stitch into this chain here. And then I would fasten off. But I'm not going to do that as we're going to leave a space for our thumb. So we have made our last half double crochet and I am now going to fasten off. So I'm not going to chain one. I'm just simply going to pull out my yarn on my hook 
and cut my yarn and this is going to leave a gap for my so thumb So now the hole. next round is going to be the next round of my thumb hole. So I'm just going to repeat round three as normal but just with a few slight changes. So I'm going to attach a new colour, so start off with a slip knot. So I'm going to start off with a slip knot and then I'm actually going to attach my new colour into my first half double crochet here. So this is where I finished off and this is where we skipped to make the hole and this is the first half double crochet or the attach a new colour and chain one and we are going to attach a new colour into this stitch and this just evens out our stitches for our thumb hole. So you want to go into the chain one of the attach a new colour and chain one which counted as a chain two which counted as a half double crochet. So go into this stitch and attach a new colour actually into the stitch. So not into the chain space this time. And then chain one. And this counts as our first half double crochet. And then we're going to chain one as a chain space and then just repeat round three as usual. So we're going to go into the next chain space, so the one straight after it, and work a half double crochet, then chain one, then work a half double crochet into the next space and chain one and just do this all the way around. So the only thing we have done different is we have added on an extra stitch and an extra chain one by working into the first half double crochet. And this just evens it out as we skipped one down here, we needed to work an extra one up on this row. So no matter what size you are doing, that is how you are going to make your thumb hole. You're going to not finish one round of round three, a repeat of round three, and then attach a new colour into the first half double crochet on the next round. So I come to the end of that row and that was the second row of my thumb hole and that was just a repeat of row three with a few slight changes. I just started off in a different place and if you want to do another row for your thumb hole, so if you're doing a bigger size and you feel that this hole here is not going to be big enough for your thumb or for your baby or child's thumb, then you can work an additional row just repeating what we have just done. So that was the row of row three but starting off in a different space. So you would simply fasten off here after your last half double crochet and then attach a new colour into the first half double crochet or into the first attach a new colour and chain one and do the same thing as we just did all the way around. But for me this is enough. I feel that this hole here is a big enough thumb hole for a zero to three month old. So I'm going to close up my thumb hole. So what I'm going to do is I've worked my final half double crochet and I'm now going to chain one and work a slip stitch into the first stitch that we did here. So I'm going to go into the chain one of the attach a new colour and chain one. I'm going to go into the chain and work a slip stitch. And there I have my thumb hole. You can see I have a little hole here for the thumb to come out of. But like I said, if you want a bigger size, then you may need to do more rows, just repeating the one that we so have I'm just done. I'm going to now fasten off, so cut my yarn. And then I'm going to begin the next row, which is just going to be row three as usual. So I'm just going to attach a new colour into a chain space, any random chain space, and chain one. And then do half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, chain one, all the way around. And I'm going to see my thumb hole, so this space here, as a chain space. So treat this as a chain space.
Okay, so I just finished working my mittens and I worked a second one and I have finished. I ended up working one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows in total and here are my thumb holes in the middle. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and thanks again for watching. Bye!